Hey guys, welcome back to Trendy Gadget. Today we'll compare the Apple M1 to the AMD 5900 HS. Which one is better? Let's head into it. Apple M1 The Apple M1 is Apple's first ARM-based system on a chip. Designed as a central processing unit for its Macintosh computer line, it was based on Apple's A14 Bionic chip. It's in the MacBook Air, Mac Mini, and MacBook Pro. It's the first personal computer chip to be manufactured using a 5 nanometer process. Apple claims to have the fastest CPU core and lower power silicon and the best CPU performance per watt in the world. In addition to Apple's Mac OS, Linux kernel support for the M1 architecture is on the way. The M1 has four high-performance Firestorm cores and four energy-efficient iStorm cores, similar to ARM Dynamic in Intel's Lake Field and Alder Lake processors, resulting in a hybrid configuration. This combination enables power-saving features that were previously unavailable on Apple Intel architecture devices. The energy-efficient cores, according to Apple, use a tenth of the power of the high-performance ones. The energy-efficient cores have a 128 kilobyte L1 instruction cache, 64 KB L1 data cache, and a shared 4 MB L2 cache. The high-performance cores have 192 kilobyte L1 instruction cache and 128 kilobyte L1 data cache and share a 12MB L2 cache. The iStorm E cluster operates at a frequency of 0.6 to 2.064 GHz and consumes a maximum of 1.3 watts. The frequency of the Firestorm P cluster is 0.6 to 3.204 GHz with a maximum power consumption of 13.8 watts. And when equipped products can run software designed for Intel x86 CPUs thanks to Rosetta 2 dynamic binary translation technology. The M1 employs 4,266 MT per second LPDDR4X SD RAM in a unified memory configuration that is shared for all the processor's components. In a system in a package design, the SOC and RAM chips are mounted together. There are 8GB and 16GB configurations to choose from. The M1 includes an Apple-designed 8-core graphics processing unit. Each GPU core has 8 execution units, or EUs, each of which has 8 ALUs. The M1 GPU has up to 128 EUs and 1,024 ALUs in total, allowing it to run nearly 25,000 threads at once, according to Apple, with a maximum flowing point performance of 2.6 teflops. The M1 also has a 16-core neural engine with dedicated neural network hardware that can perform 11 trillion operations per second, an image sign processor or ISP, an NVMe storage controller, Thunderbolt 4 controllers, and a secure enclave or among other components. Also, make sure to write your thoughts in the comment section. This is the M1 Mac, of course, and this is about 10 watts and does about a little bit over 20 watts boosted. AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS The AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS is a design generation processor designed for large gaming laptops. Based on the Zen 3 microarchitecture, the Ryzen 9 5900HS integrates all 8 cores. They support SMT, or hyper-threading that are clocked at 3.3 GHz to 4.6 GHz. The chip is made at TSMC using a modern 7 nanometer process. The 5900HS has a TDP of 35 watts, which is lower than the 5900HXS up to 54 watts. In comparison to Zen 2, the new Zen 3 microarchitecture has a significantly higher IPC. AMD claims 19% gains on average for desktop processors, with around 12% gains in application reviews at the same clock speed. The Ryzen 9 5900H should be noticeably faster than the Ryzen 9 4900H, thanks to the increased clock speed and IPC improvements brought on by Zen 3. In addition to 8 CPU cores, the APU includes an integrated Radeon RX Vega 8 graphics card with 8 CUs and a clock speed of about 2100 MHz, DDR4-3200 and energy-efficient LPDDR4-4266 RAM are supported by the dual-channel memory controller. In addition, the chip contains a 16 megabytes level 3 cache. The APU's TDP is 35 watts, making it more suitable for smaller laptops than the 5900HX. The 5900HX overclocked. This is overclocked. 45 watt, 80 watt boost. Which one is better? Comparison of technical specifications between the Apple M1 and AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS processors, with the Apple M1 on one side and the AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS on the other. The first is designed for laptops and has 8 cores, 8 threads, and a maximum frequency of 3.2 GHz. The second is for laptops and has a total of 8 cores and 16 threads, with a turbo frequency of 4.6 GHz. The lithography, number of transistors, amount of cache memory, maximum RAM memory, capacity, type of memory accepted, release date, 
maximum number of PCIe lanes. And values obtained by the Greek Bench 4 and Cinebench R15 are also compared. We can compare the technical differences between the two processors more easily. We can see that the two processors have the same number of cores, but the AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS has a higher turbo frequency, and the Apple M1 has a lower PDT. The AMD Ryzen 9 5900HS is a newer processor. In order to compare the performance of the two processors, we use benchmark software such as Greek Bench 4 to generate results. 8,546 for multi-core with the Ryzen 5900HX and 7,691 with the M1. Greek Bench 5 is a computer system performance testing software for fixed devices, mobile devices, and servers. This platform allows for a more accurate comparison of CPU and computing power as well as comparisons with similar or completely different systems. Geekbench 5 now includes new workloads that represent real-world tasks and applications. Overall, we prefer the Apple M1 chip. What do you think about the Apple M1 chip and the AMD 5900HS? Which one is better? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.